What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Francis Michelle here. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome. What's up? Today's video guys is going to be a first impression slash review of, of course, the new Fenty Beauty Foundation. So this foundation came out a couple of days ago, but I just recently um, went to Sephora yesterday. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you know that I went to Sephora and I picked up a couple of things to create a couple of videos for you guys. Uh, a lot of brand new products are out there. I'm trying to really, really keep up with all the latest um, like releases, but man, my bank account is just hurting right now with so many releases. But one of the ones that really caught my eye and I said... I really, 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 really have to do this review. It is, of course, the new Rihanna foundation. And not only did I pick up the Rihanna foundation, but at the same time, I picked up the uh, primer as well. So guys, before we jump into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. And make sure that you follow me on Instagram. It's Francis Two S's dot Michelle. That is where you find me. That is where we're gonna connect. That's where we're gonna be friends, and we're gonna have a good time. So in this video, guys, I want to give you guys as much information as I can about this new product. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump into this video, guys. All right, peep my Aladdin shirt, guys. I finally saw Aladdin like last weekend. Yes, I know. Frances Aladdin came out like a long time ago. I know, but when you have kids and you just, you don't have the time of day to just relax and watch a movie. We started to watch Aladdin and I was like, I like this movie and I went and got myself an Aladdin shirt. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the foundation. So we have the foundation right here in this uh, box. This is the foundation. This is what the foundation looks like. Um, this is the box and then we have of course the primer. This is what the primer box looks like you guys seen it So let me just give you a little like info back info um If you don't know yet of this foundation So it says that it is called the pro filter matte foundation um, It says is a long wearing medium to full coverage natural finish formula that is dripping with grape seed oil and sodium hyaluronic to keep skin looking balm and hydrated. So it is available in 50 different shades. Like, yo, she did not come to play. It is available in 50 different shades and it is now available. It is available in Sephora, Sephora.com and Fenty Beauty. So it claims to say in the box, hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones. It's long wear, light as air. And it just says that it's like the best foundation ever right now in the market. So I'm excited to try. I have very, very sensitive, very dry skin. So I am all for it, the fact that it's hydrating. Um, but then we have the primer. I've never tried her primers before. I do have her, um, her first foundation that came out and I'm gonna tell you, I was obsessed with that foundation to be honest. So this is her primer. Um, it is a hydrating primer. It says here is instant hydration, soft silk finish, extend makeup wear. So apparently it's going to extend the makeup wearness of your foundation. I like to apply my makeup in the morning and make sure that at night when I'm putting my kids to bed, I still have my full face of makeup. Um, because I am doing a lot of things during the day. I don't have time to, you know, stop and apply makeup. So I want something that's gonna last me all day. So I'm hoping this is it, and I'm hoping it's going to definitely make me look flawless. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit more about the actual foundation. It looks like this, uh, I, I like it. I like this, um, packaging way better than her previous foundation packaging because I feel like I can take this foundation with me anywhere like I can take her with me in my purse if I'm going traveling or if I'm going to somewhere I can take her with me I love that I love it I love the packaging um of course it does have a squirt pump right here so it kind of gives you a more um better access to getting the product be, be versus like 
but I think most foundations are coming with its pump. All right, let's see the primer. The primer comes in the bottle, just that frosted glass bottle, just like the her previous uh, foundation. So her previous foundation kind of looks like that frosted glass bottle. It still it has the same pump, so it has the same it has the same pump. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this is what they both look like together. I love, you can see too that there's a uh, quality to this product, like, yes. I right, so I'm just prep my skin with regular moisturizer and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the primer. Just do a couple of squirts of the primer. It's a beautiful light pink, beautiful light pink shade. It smells like Fenty. It smells like, it feels super, super moisturizing. See, this is what a moisturizer feels like. It says, it says it's a instant hydration and soft silk finish. It doesn't say anything about like pores or whatever, but we'll see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to square a couple of dots of the foundation. Hopefully I am, I match myself good. This is the shade um, 20, 2, 230 is my shade. I think it's a little bit lighter. So whenever I'm tan, I won't be used, I won't be able to use, but we'll make it work. All right, so I'm gonna just do half of my face first, like I normally like to do, and then I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see the difference of the coverage between one side of my face and the other side of my face. So I do have like freckles and stuff and honestly speaking like right here right now I can still see some of my freckles. I don't like right off the bat I don't like this right here like I can see I don't know if you guys can see it but I can see my pores guys. I can see my pores. Alright so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply my primer to the other side on top of that primer and see if there's a difference because honestly speaking I'm not liking how it sat inside my pores right here all this area right here I can still see my pores um the coverage for me it is a medium to full it's not a full coverage it is a medium to full I feel like you can definitely um um the um a little bit you can ump a little bit the coverage. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm actually going to try and pack it on with a foundation brush. She did come out with a foundation brush. I just totally forgot to pick it up. And I was like, I said, I'm not gonna keep putting this off. I'm gonna do this video. So normally foundation uh, brush, foundation brushes tend to give you a more full coverage rather than the sponge. So let's go ahead and try with a foundation brush. This is just an It Cosmetics foundation brush. I'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply this side with the brush. Kind of give you more of a um, flawless finish. Now it does feel really airy. It does feel very light, very light, very, like at first it feels really, really watery when you're wearing it, but then it just feels, it dries fine to the skin and it feels really, really, really refreshing. That's the word I'm looking for. It looks, it feels extremely, extremely refreshing, guys. All right. So let me go ahead and bring this makeup, this mirror, a little bit closer just to kind of let you see. All right. I feel, honestly speaking, this one over here looks a little bit more mattifying than this side that I applied, that I did with my, um, with my brush, with my, oh, I can't talk today, guys, with my, um, Sponge, guys like this one here looks a little bit more matte this one looks a little bit more dewy to be honest with the foundation brush rather than the sponge I feel like coverage wise I feel like they look the same to be honest they still look the same I'm gonna go ahead and do um, a couple of more pumps using the beauty blender I'm just going to 
do it all over the face. And maybe it is a buildable coverage because I do like more of a full coverage. I can still see my freckles on this side and I don't like it. I do have to say it feels really hydrating. It feels very... It does feel good. It feels good to the skin, guys. It really, really, really feels cold. It feels refreshing. It feels hydrating to the skin. It has a very nice finish. I thought it would be a little bit more of a full, full coverage, but the coverage is pretty good guys pretty nice super nice to be honest the coverage is beautiful I love how it looks like, I love how my skin looks it looks silky it looks hydrated and it definitely looks super 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 nice like I like how this looks I like it guys I really do look it looks my my skin looks a million books like a million books like guys it feels good it doesn't feel like uh like a dewy foundation though that i do have to say when i tried on the anastasia the anastasia one definitely feels very very dewy in the skin i feel like if you are oily the anastasia if you don't set it properly it could probably be a disaster um this one even though it looks hydrating it looks super good it, your skin looks dewy it feels really good to the skin it does not feel overpowering it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel heavy it feels super super lightweight and definitely feels hydrating like i feel like all i'm wearing is a very good hydrating mask or a hydrating lotion actually it feels how I, it feels when I apply the Tatcha water cream. I'm not going to lie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on and I'm going to be applying concealer. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with my face. I am going to set, of course, um, my under eyes. And I do kind of like to set my foundation a little bit because I like a more mattifying finish. It doesn't have a huge mattifying um, finish. It has like a... It has a nice glow to it. So I'm just going to move on, fast forward you guys to having my face completely done. And then we'll take it from there. Okay guys, so I finished everything. All my makeup is done. I concealer, set my concealer. I did apply a little bit of powder on my face. Um, and then of course I applied my bronzer, my blush, my highlight, the my all the other thing. So as of right now, I love how the foundation is looking. I love how it feels on my skin I feel like I legit don't have anything on I it really feels super lightweight I do like how my skin looks it looks a flawless, flawless so I feel like it will be suitable for all skin types um even though it's hydrating it's not dewy to the point where you feel your skin is just like a hot oily mess it is just a very very hydrating refreshing feel um i'm just gonna wear it out during the day i am gonna tell you um i did apply it at 11 30 it is 12 30 right now but i did apply at 11 30 um because it took me a lot of time for me to finish my look um i will check with you guys half a day and then i will check with you guys at the end of the day to kind of just give you everything um overall on my experience with the foundation to see how long it's going to last and see how long i can push it toward um and see if it's going to be a foundation that i'm going to be reaching out for a lot um just to kind of summarize it i feel like um the fact that it has a 50 shades uh 50 shades is a good range I feel like it. there is going to be a huge difference, a huge change when it comes to, I'm sorry, I feel like it's going to be good for a lot of skin types, um, a lot of skin colors and all that. I feel like it's great. I love that it's a packaging that I can take with me. When a foundation is a glass bottle, I don't like to take it with me anywhere because I it one is heavy, two, I feel like it's going to break and it's going to make a mess. The fact that this foundation, it is this type of, feel this type of look it's just very slick very nice i absolutely love love the packaging i'm a sucker for packaging and this packaging right here is just amazing like i said it is a very hydrating foundation so it's very 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 good so let's just go ahead i'm going like i said i'm going to kind of give you updates between the day and then um give you my thoughts at the end of the day and then i'll bring you guys back and we'll wrap it up okay guys so it is officially nine 30 
So I had this foundation on for mm, 10 hours. I've had the foundation on for 10 hours, guys. Oh my God. And I have to say, my face is looking bomb. My skin, my face. It's just looking like I applied foundation not so long ago, guys. Like, I am truly obsessed with it. And it feels like nothing. Sometimes during the day at this hour, I'm already dying to take off my makeup, ready to just get it off. This foundation, I feel like, oh my god, wait, I have makeup on? I didn't even know. So, guys, honestly speaking, my overall thought from this foundation is bomb.com. Hydrating, feels lightweight, it's amazing coverage. Um, 10 hours strong. I feel like if I was to be out for two more hours, 12 hour, it would still look flawless. It would still look good. As I'm truly, truly in awe with the foundation. So my overall thoughts, packaging is great. This little tube right here, the fact that um, it's not a, a glass bottle. You can take it with you everywhere. It's great. Um, it lasts for a very long time. It feels very lightweight. The coverage is beautiful. Everything is beautiful guys. It's worth every single penny um, I don't have a foundation like it just because it feels so lightweight and hydrating um, For the primer, I'm going to have to skip it. I'm not really feeling the primer um, I don't really like the primer. I feel like I need something that's gonna cover my on my pores But other than that guys, I highly recommend the foundation. It is worth every single penny and I really hope that you go out and get it and you love it as much as I do. So yeah, guys. So there you guys have it. Those were my thoughts on the foundation. So overall, thumbs up. <laughs> well, I really hope you liked the video. If you did guys and you wanna see more of my first time impressions, a review, demo, anything that you guys wanna know about any brands that come out, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And as usual, do not forget to hit subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for watching. Muchas besos. I'll see you ladies on my following videos. Adios.